We Dana led from Hikeaholics decided to hike the Höge Kustelede, translated as the High Coast Trail. Located at the east coast of Sweden, this region has the world's highest coastline. The 130 km long High Coast Trail stretches through an entire World Heritage Site that shares its name. We are starting in Örnsköldvik and ending in Horneberget. The trail is divided into 13 sections that are a unique mix of coast and forest with special areas like Skuleskoga National Park and Skuleberget, where the ancient coastline is currently a total of almost 300 meters above sea level. In 8 episodes we are taking you along this beautiful trail. We are hiking through deep forests and mountaintop viewpoints, passing beautiful lakes that you only see in Sweden and sleeping in beautiful places along the way. Nowhere else in Sweden can you hike at these heights so close to the sea. Welcome to the Höga Kustenleden. Welcome at the east coast of Sweden. Yes, right now we're in Örnsköldsvik and we're hiking the high coast trail, the Höga Kusteleden. And well, before we start, we already want to apologize to all the Swedish viewers because we have absolutely no clue how we pronounce Ernsch the Swedish Ernsch names. Örnsköldsvik. Örnsköldsvik. Yeah. We're gonna hike from Örnsköldsvik to Örneberget. 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 130 kilometers on the high coastal trail. We're really excited. Weather forecast is not that great actually no but we're just gonna see and the trail is about to take like five till seven days and yeah let's go for it let's go The trail contains 13 stages and right now we finished stage 1, that was only 5 kilometers. That's still Svetje. <laughs> and from now we're in stage 2, from Svetje till Sandlogan. So somewhere in this second section we will find a place to camp.
So slight change of plans. We originally wanted to camp here, but so far all the soil where we bought was completely drenched in water because the water levels are really high because it rained like crazy the last couple of days. So we actually walked by a little cabin for two people, which was completely empty. So we're very happy. So we're staying here tonight. There are two beds and there's a little sign that we think you have to flip that you say occupied or not occupied, but not bad for a first night. Following a satisfying first day, the moment had come to think about the days ahead while getting ready to cook dinner in this charming hut. <laughs> Delicious. Is it working? Yes, but a little bit too good. <laughs> I already burned my marshmallow. On the next episode of the Höga Kustenleden. It's a very rainy day on the high coast trail. As we are walking through typical Swedish villages, passing calming lakes and some beautiful forests. After hiking through the mud all day, Alette found a very special campsite. Is this your campsite? Not yet. <laughs>